talk about the hacker's approach to your business or whatever. What did I title? What did I title this? Oh, the hacker's mindset. That's what I titled this. I wrote something else down on my, on my, in my notes. Cause I do hackers right. mindset to grow your business. Um, so let's, what do we know about hackers? We know that hackers are like, they kind of operate in these dark rooms and they wear hoodies all day and they don't really eat that much. Hackers get the job done. Like regardless of whatever the job is, whatever their target is, they more often than not do what it takes to get the job done. They will meet or reach their target. So adopting the hackers, applying the hackers mindset to your business, whether you're a small business owner, you have a brick and mortar, you're a mom and pop, you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is that you're doing, when you can adopt the mindset of a hacker, you can grow your business. So let's talk about it. I have four, four um, characteristics of a hacker's mindset. So let's get right into the first one. Hackers are always chasing the next level. Like they're always going for the next thing. It's never a one and done or they never rest on their laurels. They are always, they stay hungry. Hackers stay hungry. Um, and Lean and lean Six Sigma, if you're familiar with Six Sigma, there is um, a concept called Kaizen, which is continuous improvement. That is at the core of a hacker's mindset. They are always trying to improve, always trying to beat their last win or um, achieve, go be surpass their latest achievement. It's, that is the number one um, trait of a hacker that can help you when your business help you win in your business is you have to always see room for improvement. You are never finished. If you're never finished, you're always growing and changing and evolving, and your business is always getting better. Number two, um, they're not afraid to experiment. They will try anything. They'll get a crazy idea about uh, storing files in a cloud. Really? Who stores files in a cloud? <laughs> the guy that, in, that uh, invented Dropbox at the time that he started pitching and talking about his idea, people thought he was crazy. What do you mean the cloud? Where is the cloud? Where, does, where is this place? Where is my uh, English paper going when I store it in the cloud? There, do not be afraid to experiment. If you have an idea of something that you want to do, something that you've been thinking about, that nagging thing that you want to implement, don't be afraid to do it because you can easily talk yourself out of doing something that has never been done before or doing something that somebody else might say, well, I don't know if that's going to work. Don't put limits on yourself. Hackers don't see limits. Like anything is figure outable. They will do whatever they need to do. They will learn what they need to learn to make it happen. Number three, hackers are feedback focused. They are always thinking about, for instance, a hacker will write a line of code and instantly flip to the website if they're building a website and see if that thing works. It's instant gratification. They want to know right then how whatever they're doing is working. They're, they're continuously focused on the feedback. So in your business, in your organization, if you are continually focused on getting feedback from your customers, customers that are using your widget or that have paid for your service, ask them how they like it. Ask for their testimonial. Get their feedback. Send them a survey. Using that information is going to help you improve your business. As a lot of times, and I just texted this to somebody this morning, when we get so deep into the digging, into the dirt of our business, we can't see the forest for the trees. So you have to ask, solicit um, opinions, solicit feedback from somebody outside um, and use what, use what they give you to help you improve your business. Hackers are always focused on feedback. Stay focused on the feedback. And my final tip, number four, is they think about scaling. They anticipate the growth and they plan for it. If I'm building an app and I give it to all of you all to test and it works fine with 20 people, but I don't plan for my app to only be used by 20 people. I'm planning for it to be used by 20 million people. So I need to now start thinking about, okay, if it works this way for 20, how is it going to work for 20 million? Did I plan for the capacity? Did I plan for issues? Did I plan for people not knowing what to do? All of those things you have to think about, especially when you're in the beginning stages of building a business, as you are building your processes and creating your SOPs and your manuals that are going to help you operate on the back end, you need to think about scaling. You need, you're not going to always only have 10 people buying your widgets a month. 
One day you're going to have a thousand people buying your widgets a month. And then what are you going to do? You have to plan for the growth. Hackers plan for the growth. They test and scale, test and scale, test and scale. Again, it just goes right back into the first point. They're always thinking about the next thing. Okay, we, we did well with this test of 200. Now, what do we need to change about this thing so that we can get the same results when 2,000 people are using it at once? Think about scaling. Don't you, you operate in the now, but you need to be thinking about 10 months from now, a year from now, three years from now. So just to recap, the hacker's mindset to help you grow in your business, number one, is hackers are always chasing the next level. There's always room for improvement. Number two, they're not afraid to experiment. Somebody will get a crazy idea. They will put it, they will implement it and see if it works. And oftentimes it does work. So don't be afraid to try and experiment with new things. Number three, hackers are focused on feedback. They chase the instant gratification of whatever it is that they're doing. So seek gratification, seek the feedback, seek the, um, the testimonials and reviews of people that are using your product or uh, using your service. Number four is they think they anticipate growth and plan for it. Think about how whatever it is that you're building is going to scale because the two five-year-olds that live in your house played with it and it worked fine. Think about how it's going to work when you have 22 five-year-olds playing with it. Hackers get it done. <laughs> if you can adopt the hacker's mindset to your business, you're going to see growth. You're going to see movement. You're going to see feedback. Things, things are going to start rolling for you.